us. It's great to see you. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's good to be here. I hope you're hungry. I made your favorite steamed currant. It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm just gonna check on the food. I'll be right back. Uh, oh. I burned the current. What am I gonna do? Chalmers is gonna know I'm a fraud. He's gonna fire me. I'm gonna be homeless. Oh God, please help me. I know, I'll just tell him the truth. He's a reasonable man, he'll understand. That's it. I'll just tell him the food was burnt and I went out to get something else. He'll never know. But what if he does? I'll just say I got it from the store. Yes, that's it. I'll say I got it from the store. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just say I made it myself. Yes, that's it. I'll say I made it myself. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just say I found it. Yes, that's it. I'll say I found it. But what if he knows I didn't? I'll just tell him the truth. He's a reasonable man. He'll understand. What is going on in here? Why is there so much smoke? I was just, um, cooking your favorite food, boss. Steamed current. It smells like something is burning. No, no. It's just the, um, the current. It's, uh, uh, um, a bit burnt, but it's still edible. Skinner, this is not current. Yes, it is. I, um, I got it from the store. The store doesn't sell current. They, um, they must have been out of current, so I, um, I got hot across the bun instead. Skinner, this is not current. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. It's just the, uh, um, the current. It's, uh, um, a bit burnt, but it's still edible. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. I, um, I found it. It was, um, it was already on fire when I got here. The kitchen is on fire. I have to go. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. You're welcome, boss. Anytime. The kitchen is on fire. No, no. I, um, I made it myself. It's, um, it's supposed to be burnt. The kitchen is on fire. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, so good to see you. Please come in. Good afternoon, Principal Skinner. Thank you for the invitation. No problem at all. I must warn you, though, the Ajika isn't quite ready yet. It needs a few more minutes on the stove. Ah, no worries. It smells like it'll be delicious. Yes, I'm sure it will be. You must be thirsty, though. Can I offer you a drink while we wait? Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the Ajika. That was supposed to be our dinner tonight. What am I going to do now? I guess I could go out and buy something else or order a pizza or something. That doesn't sound very appetizing, though. Maybe I could try to make something else. I'm not sure I have any other ingredients here, though. That's it. I knew I'd think of something. That saddle of lamb looks perfect. I just need to get it back to the kitchen, and then I can replace the burnt tajika with it. Now I just need to figure out how to get it back here without anyone noticing. Let's see. I could sneak it back in my pocket, or maybe in my bag. The kitchen door is usually open, so I could make a run for it. I just need to be careful not to get caught. Okay, here goes nothing. Wish me luck. No turning back now. What the devil is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Skinner, are you on fire? No, 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 no. It's just steam from the steamed ajika I'm making. I swear it's nothing to worry about. You're lying, Skinner. I can smell the smoke. Put out the fire before the entire school burns down around our ears. Okay, okay, I'll put it out. Don't worry, I've got it under control. Why did you bring us this saddle of lamb instead of a jika? 
Uh, I was out shopping and found a limited edition of this dish that is said to have magical properties. Not only will it help us achieve our culinary goals, but it may even bring us luck and prosperity. That doesn't make any sense. Why didn't you just stick with the Ajika we were originally going to have? Oh, well, I thought it would be fun to switch it up a bit and surprise you all with something a bit different. I'm sure you'll appreciate the unique taste of this dish. That still doesn't explain why you didn't just stick with the Ajika. Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, I don't see anything. It must be fairy rings. Can I see it? I want to make sure. No, it's not a good idea. It's probably just a trick of the light. I'm not sure I believe you. Can I just take a quick look? This lunch was great. Thank you. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just a few fairy rings. They show up every now and then like this. It's no big deal. Okay, if you say so, bye now. Take care and have a safe journey. Thank you. Hello, Chalmers. Welcome to my home. Is there anything I can do for you? No, I just came by to say hello. I see you got your jelly donut cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Yes, it's just about ready. I'll just go get it. No, that's okay. I'll wait. It smells delicious. Thanks, it does. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, gods. I burned the jelly donut. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have put it in the oven so quickly. I'll just get some baking chocolate from the store. It'll be just like the burnt jelly donut, only better because I'll be using better ingredients. Maybe I'll even make a cake out of it. I hope so. Oh, and by the way, I'm Skinner. Nice to meet you. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? The kitchen is on fire. It's just steam. Skinner, what's the real reason you swapped the food? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't swap the food because you didn't like jelly donut. You swapped it because you like baking chocolate. What are you talking about? I didn't swap the food because I liked it. I swapped it because you didn't have any jelly donut. Okay, that wasn't a lie. But what's the real reason you swapped the food? Scare, the kitchen's on fire. It, it's not. It is. Come on, admit it. The kitchen's on fire. It's not. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I was just startled. Let's get out of here. Skinner, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Chalmers. Oh, well, at least I'm going to die knowing that I saved some animals. Uh, that's a good philosophy. I think so too. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Irish soda bread is cooking, but it's not ready just yet. It smells delicious. Thank you for your hospitality. My pleasure. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Yeah. Yes, please. A cold beer would be nice. Coming right up. How could I have been so careless? I must have been distracted. And now the Irish soda bread is ruined. I guess I'll just have to start over again. No use crying over spilled milk. I better get busy and make some more. I know. I'll use haricot beans instead of Irish soda bread. That should do the trick. Now all I need to do is find a way to cook the haricot beans so they're just as good as the Irish soda bread. Um, I think I could bake them with a bit of sugar and some herbs and spices. That should do the trick. Yes, now I just need to find the right ingredients and get started. Here we go. What are you doing in here, and why is it so smoky? Nothing. It's just steam from the stove. Don't give me that. The kitchen is on fire. I can see the smoke. Now put it out before it does any more damage. 
Okay, okay, I'll take care of it. Skinner, what is going on here? I asked for Irish soda bread and you come back with this. Ah, uh, yes. This is a special type of Irish soda bread. It's made with haricot beans. So it's a bit heartier than regular Irish soda bread, but still incredibly delicious. I don't believe you, Skinner. This looks nothing like Irish soda bread. Oh, but it is. Trust me. It's a very special recipe that uses only the freshest haricot beans and is baked in a secret technique. It's a closely guarded family recipe. It's a closely guarded family recipe. Skinner? I think you're trying to pull one over on me. What's really going on here? Skinner. The kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department right away. No need to panic, Chalmers. It's just a natural phenomena, like supercell thunderstorms. Don't be absurd, Skinner. The kitchen is clearly on fire and we need to do something now. No, I'm telling you, it's just a natural phenomena, like supercell thunderstorms. There's nothing to worry about. Skinner, this is an emergency. You have to see the kitchen is on fire and we need to take action immediately. Mr. Skinner, thank you for lunch. I really enjoyed it. Uh, my pleasure, Superintendent Chalmers. Do let me know if I can ever do anything else for you. Actually, I think there is something else. You see, I think the house is on fire. Oh, that's just the thunderstorms. No need to worry. Everything will be just fine. Um, okay. Well, I'd better be going then. Thank you again for lunch. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in. The sirloin steak is cooking but not quite ready yet. Can I get you something to drink in the meantime? I would love a glass of red wine, thank you. Of course. I'll pour us both a glass. Would you like to take a seat in the living room? Yes. That would be lovely. Very well. I'll be right behind you with the wine. Great. Just great. Now I've gone and ruined the steak. I've been so preoccupied with work that I haven't paid enough attention to my cooking. I should have known better than to leave it in the oven so long. I'm so annoyed with myself. Well, I guess I should just start over and make something else. I suppose I can always order takeout. Hmm, that banana tree outside looks like it could be a great solution. I could make some banana bread and that would be a great replacement for the steak. And I have all the ingredients I need in the kitchen. Time to get to work. Let's see how this banana bread turns out. Ah, that smells delicious. I think I might have a winner here. Time to try it out and see how it tastes. Yeah, mom, that's quite good. I think this banana bread is a great substitute for the burnt steak. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's nothing. Just some steam, that's all. Just trying to cook up a nice meal for everyone. What meal would involve this much smoke? This isn't steam. It's smoke. And it smells like something is on fire. Okay, okay, I admit it. There was a little fire in the kitchen, but I handled it. It's all under control now. Skinner, why is this banana bread instead of sirloin steak? Well, I had trouble finding the sirloin steak, so I thought I'd switch it out for something a little healthier and more nutritious. I'm sure the students will appreciate the banana bread as a substitute. But it's not what they were expecting. Why didn't you let them know in advance that the food selection was going to change? Well, I know how students can be. They get so excited when they hear they're getting steak and I didn't want to disappoint them, so I thought this would make a nice surprise. But students should be able to rely on the food served to them in the cafeteria. Changing it without notice is unacceptable. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get everyone out of the building and call the fire department. No, no, you must be mistaken. This is simply a natural phenomenon, like the tide. What? No, this is a fire. We need to get out before it spreads. I assure you, this is simply the tide making its way through the kitchen. 
Nothing to be alarmed about. Are you serious? Look, the flames are growing and the smoke is getting thicker. We need to call the fire department. Um, thanks for lunch, Professor. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. You too. Remember, the tides can be a bit tricky this time of year. Ah, right. I'll remember that. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It's nice to be here. It's almost ready. The Rucola will be done in just a few minutes. Can I get you a drink in the meantime? Yeah, that would be lovely. What do you have? I have some refreshing white wine or a delicious craft beer. What would you like? How could I be so careless? I worked so hard on this dish and it's ruined. Uh, I guess I'll have to start over. Yeah, that's... That's it. I can use the sausage meat in the window to replace the burnt tricola. Time to get cooking. Now where do I begin? Hmm. Let's start by breaking up the sausage meat into small pieces. Now all I need to do is mix it with the other ingredients. Form it into patties and fry them. Voila. Now I have perfect sausage patties to replace the burnt tricola. Skinner, what is going on in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's just steam from the steamed rucola I'm cooking. Nothing to be concerned about. Don't give me excuses. The kitchen is on fire. No, I assure you it's just the steam. Don't worry, I have it all under control. Skinner, you told me this was rucola. What is this? Oh, that. That's not sausage meat. It's a unique species of fungus that grows only in the most distant corners of the Amazon rainforest. It's called Mangarucula, and it's actually known to be incredibly nutritious and delicious. It's a rare delicacy that we were lucky to get. That's quite a story. I think I'm going to need to see more evidence before I believe that. All right, I'll get you the documentation. But trust me, this is 100 fee authentic Mangarucola. We'll see about that. What's going on? The kitchen is on fire. Will, oh, the wisp. I saw an errant will. Oh, the wisp causing a bit of a stir in the kitchen. Nothing to worry about. Can I, can I see it? No, it's gone now. Best to just stay out of the kitchen until we can get it sorted out. But uh, shouldn't we call the fire department? Skinner, I think your house is on fire. What? No, it's not. That's the will. Oh, the wisp, you know, that old saying. No, this is 100% real fire. We need to get out of here now. No, I'm sure it's nothing serious. We can just put it out ourselves. It's too late for that. We need to get out now. Welcome, sir. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. Lunch will be ready soon. I hope you're hungry. I am, Skinner. What are we having? Steamed corn fritter. I made it myself. Oh no, I burned the corn fritter. Why does this always happen to me? That's it. I'll get the food from the cafeteria. They'll never know. That was close. I'm just gonna put this corn fritter in the trash can. I'll be right back, sir. What is going on in here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. There's no fire, sir. I was just, uh, cooking lunch. It smells like something is burning. No, sir. I just, um, burned the corn fritter. Skinner, what is this? It's, uh, corn fritter. This is a breadstick. No, sir. It's corn fritter. I just, uh, burned the breadstick.
Why does it have breadsticks in it? The kitchen is on fire, Skinner. No, sir. I was just, uh, cooking lunch. It smells like something is burning. No, sir. I just, um, burned the corner fritter. Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I have to go. You're welcome, sir. Come back soon. I will. Have a nice day, sir. You too, Skinner. Hello, Chalmers. I hope you're having a good day. Hello, Skinner. I'm having a great day. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear it. I was just about to start cooking Swedish Re, but it's not quite ready. That sounds great. Would you like to help me get it ready? Sure. I can get the stew started while you get the bread ready. What the hell was I thinking? Now I have to go buy a new bottle of rye. This is pissing me off. I know, I know. I'm sorry, God. I'll be more careful next time. God, I'm gonna need your help to replace the burnt Swedish rye with polony. I see a store down the street that has a lot of polony. Thank you for helping me. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna need a lot of polony. I'm gonna need at least 100 bottles of polony. Thank you for your help, God. Now let's go shopping. Wow, I can't believe I got so much polony at the store. I'm going to need to get home and start drinking it all. Skinner, what are you doing? I'm making toast. What are you burning in the kitchen? I'm not burning anything, I'm just making toast. Skinner, where's the Swedish rye food? I don't know. It must have gotten lost in the mail. No, it's not lost. I saw it in your cabinet. What happened to it? I must have mixed it up with some polony food. I'm sorry, I'll get you a new dish. Why, but why did you switch the foods? I thought you were bringing me the Swedish rye. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. It's not. The flames are spreading. We have to do something. There's nothing we can do, Chalmers. Everything is under control. This isn't right. The kitchen is our only hope. Skinner, I'm leaving. Thanks for the food. No problem, Chalmers. Have a nice day. Ah, uh, I hope so. Goodbye. Bye, Chalmers. Thank you. Ah, uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Come in, come in. Thank you, Skinner. Lunch is almost ready. I hope you like steamed sorbet apple. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but it smells wonderful. Great. I'm so glad you could make it. Oh, no. I've burned the sorb apple. What will Superintendent Chalmers think of me? I'll just have to make something else. Uh, I hope he likes grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, I hope he's not allergic to grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, I hope he's not a vegetarian. Oh, the school lunch lady is here with her truck. I'll just borrow some of her food. I'll pretend I made it myself. She'll never know. This is a great idea. I'm a genius. Skinner, what is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, um, I was just... Ah, cooking some lunch. This smells like something is burning. No, no, it's just... Uh, the smoke from the grill. The grill is smoking. Skinner, what is this? It's... Um... Sorb apple. This is not sorb apple. Yes, it is. I, um, grilled it. It's a cinnamon snail. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! No, no, it's just, um, the smoke from the grill. The grill is on fire. No, no, it's just, um, the smoke from the sorb apple. The sorb apple is on fire! Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah, Superintendent Chalmers. Bye. 
Bye. Bye. Phew. That was close. What was close? Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, come in. Thank you, Skinner. Lunch is almost ready. I hope you're hungry. I am indeed. What's on the menu? I decided to treat you to my special steamed boysenberry. Oh no, I've burned the boysenberry. What will Chalmers think of me now? I'm sorry, God. I know I promised to be a good boy if you let me keep my job. That's it. I get the food from the cafeteria. They'll never know the difference. This is gonna be great. I can't believe I'm going to get away with this. Thank you, God. What is going on here, Skinner? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, that. I was just, um, cooking the boysenberry. It's a very delicate fruit, you see, and it has to be cooked just right. And you burned it. No, no. I didn't burn it. I just, um, overcooked it a little. This isn't boysenberry. Yes, it is. I just, um, overcooked it a little. It's not overcooked, it's burnt. No, no, it's not burnt. I just, um, cooked it a little longer than usual. It's not just burnt, it's burnt to a crisp. The kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not on fire. I just, um, overcooked the boysenberry. The whole kitchen is on fire. No, no, it's not on fire. I just, um, overcooked the boysenberry. The house is on fire. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I have to go now. No, please don't go. The lunch is almost ready. I'm sorry, but I have to go. No, please don't go. I just, um, overcooked the boysenberry. It's okay, Skinner. I'll come back another time. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells like something special is cooking. Yes, I'm making a special pre-ferment for dinner. It's not quite ready yet, though. Uh, I see. Well, in that case, why don't we have a seat and chat for a bit? That sounds like a great idea. Would you like something to drink while we catch up? Damn it, I can't believe this. I worked so hard on this pre-ferment and now it's burnt. What a waste of time and effort. I guess I should start over. Maybe it'll all work out in the end. I remember reading about a new type of pre-ferment that could be used for making Tokyo Tokyo. Maybe I could try to find it and see if it would work for this recipe. I should head out to the store and see if they have it. I'll have to check a few different locations, but I'm sure I can find what I need. I'll also need some other ingredients, so I should make a list before I go. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. What is going on here? What is all this smoke? Are you trying to burn this place down? No, no. It's just the steam from the steam pre for men I'm making. You know, for the pizza dough, it's a process that can create a lot of steam. Is that what you're going with? What's burning then? It smells like smoke. Oh, I don't know. Maybe something spilled on the stove. I don't see any flames, though. I think it's just the steam. Skinner! This isn't pre-fermented food. What's really going on here? Oh, no, 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 Professor Chalmers. This is a special kind of food that comes all the way from Tokyo, Tokyo. It's a rare delicacy that only the most sophisticated palates can appreciate. I'm sure you'll love it. Skinner, this is obviously not what I requested. What is the real reason you swapped out the food? I can assure you, Professor Chalmers, it was strictly a matter of taste. After sampling the pre-fermented food, we decided that it wasn't up to scratch and opted for something a bit more exotic. We think you'll find the Tokyo Tokyo variety much more to your liking. Skinner. 
please be honest with me. What really happened? Skinner, it's obvious there's a fire. What are you going to do about it? Well, it can't be a fire. It must be werewolves. I mean, why would there be a fire in the kitchen? It doesn't make sense. You want to see it, but I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I need to see it. We need to act fast to put it out before it spreads throughout the school. No, 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 there's no need to panic. I'm sure it's just a false alarm. There must be a logical explanation for this. Let's wait and see what happens. Skinner, this is a serious situation. We need to take action now. Well, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I have to be going now. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Goodbye, Chalmers. Take care now and keep an eye out for any werewolves. Ah, uh, sure, I'll do that. Well, you never know. Werewolves can be sneaky. Better be careful. Will do. Bye, Skinner. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. Yeah, I'm making burr noisette. It should be ready soon. I can hardly wait. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? I have some fresh, squeezed lemonade. Why did this have to happen? I was so careful, and yet I still managed to burn it. I can't believe I messed up like this. God, please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please show me a way to salvage this and make it right. Maybe there is some way I can fix this. I'll just have to try my best and see what I can do. Oh, Lord, please help me find something outside the window that I can use to replace the burnt burr noisette with Graham Braid. I know nothing about baking, but I know nothing about baking, but I need your guidance to come up with a solution. I'm in. Well, here goes nothing. Hum, this looks promising. A nearby shop has graham crackers. If I can grind them up, I can make a nice crumbly substitute for the burnt burr noisette. I can mix in some butter and sugar to make it stick together, and I can probably make it a little sweet. Perfect. I'll do it. Thank you, Lord, for your help and guidance. Amen. What the hell is going on here? That not steam. It's smoke. And why is the kitchen on fire? It's okay, sir. I was just boiling some potatoes. That's why there's smoke. Potatoes don't give off that kind of smoke, Seymour. What is really going on? All right, I confess. I was attempting to make some fried onions, but the pan got a bit too hot, and now there's a bit of a grease fire going. Don't worry, I can take care of it. Skinner, why did you bring us graham bread instead of burr noisette? Oh, I was told that burr noisette was unavailable, so I decided to get creative and break the mold with a different kind of bread. I figured it would be more fun to try something different, and plus I heard that graham bread was a popular new food trend in the area. That doesn't make any sense. What's the real reason you swapped out the food? Well, I wanted to make sure that everyone got to enjoy something unique. Something that would really show off my culinary skills. I thought graham bread would make a great substitute, and it's a healthier option, too. Skinner, enough with the lies. What's the truth? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out. No, no, no. It's just a bit of smoke. There's nothing to be concerned about. The fire alarm must have been triggered by something else. There's no mistaking it. That's definitely fire. We need to get out now. Now, now. There's no need to panic. Let's just stay calm and investigate the cause of the smoke first. We don't have time for that. We need to evacuate immediately. Mm. Yeah, thanks for lunch, Skinner. I really appreciate it. Mm. I should probably be heading out, though. I think I can see some smoke coming from my house. Oh, no. 
Sounds like your house is on fire. I'll call the fire brigade right away. You should get out of here and make sure you're safe. Yes, definitely. I'm sorry to cut our lunch short. Thanks again for lunch, Skinner. Don't worry about it. Just be safe and call me when you can. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. Lunch will be ready shortly. I hope you're hungry. I am, thank you. I made steamed passion fruit. I hope you like it. Oh, no. I've burned the passion fruit. Superintendent Chalmers is going to think I'm a terrible cook. I have to think of something quick. I know. I'll make a smoothie. That way, he'll never know. That's it. I'll get some fruit from the playground. No one will ever know. I'll be back before Chalmers knows I'm gone. And this is gonna be great. He's gonna love this smoothie. Scare! What is going on in here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, um, I was making a smoothie and, uh, the blender was overheating. That's not what it looks like to me. It looks like you burned the passion fruit. No, no, no. I would never do that. I was just, uh, making a smoothie. A smoothie? With burnt passion fruit? Skinner, what is this? This isn't passionate fruit. Yes, it is. I got it from the playground. The playground? This is potato pancake. No, 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 no. It's passion fruit. I swear. Why would there be potato pancake on the playground? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no, no. It's just the blender. It's overheating again. The whole kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here. No, no. It's just the blender. I'll unplug it. The whole house is on fire. We have to get out of here. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I have to go. No problem. Superintendent Chalmers. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Ah, I didn't say I enjoyed it. Oh, well, I'm sure you did. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome to my humble abode. Please do come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. What are you making? It's my grandmother's recipe for guoba. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Is it ready yet? Not quite. It's still simmering away on the stove. I just need to finish up a few more touches before it is ready. It should be done in about 15 minutes. What a mess. How could I have been so careless? I should have remembered to keep an eye on the Goba. Now I have to start all over again. Maybe I should call my mom. She'll know what to do. I can be creative and figure out how to use this outside object to replace the burnt Goba with a vacuum fryer. I'm sure I can come up with an idea if I just give it some thought. Let's see, what do I have to work with here? Hmm? Maybe I could use the window panes to make a frame for the vacuum fryer. That could work. Yes, I think it will. Now to figure out how to get the vacuum fryer into the frame. I could use some of the tools from the kitchen to construct a makeshift pulley system to construct a makeshift pulley system to raise the fryer into place. That should do the trick. Now let's see if I can get this working. Okay, looks like it's working. Now I just need to get the vacuum fryer plugged in and see if it works. Here goes nothing. What are you doing in here? And why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, this. It's just steam from the steamed goba I'm making. Don't worry, it's not a fire. Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes, Skinner. Something is definitely going on here. I think you need to come clean and explain what you've been up to. All right. 
All right. I was making some roast beef, but I think I left it in the oven too long and it caught fire. I was trying to put it out with a towel when you came in. Skinner, this isn't Guoba. What is it? Why, this is the latest technological breakthrough in cuisine. It's a vacuum fryer. It uses a revolutionary process that cooks the food at an incredibly low temperature. The result is a light and crisp texture like nothing you've ever tasted before. And what happened to the Goba? Oh, well, uh, you see, we had a bit of a mix-up in the kitchen. Unfortunately, the Goba didn't make it, and so we had to substitute it with this amazing new dish. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. Um, I see. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire! No, no, no. It's just levitation. Don't worry. I want to see it for myself, can I? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Trust me, it's just levitation. I'm not sure I believe you. I want to see it. Goodbye, Professor Skinner. And thank you for lunch. My pleasure, Chalmers. Don't forget, no matter what, I'll always be here, pretending it's levitation. Thanks. No problem. Now go out there and save the day. Will do. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Sorry the chicken isn't ready yet, it's still in the oven. No problem. Smells delicious. Thanks. We'll have it soon. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Sure, I'll have a glass of iced tea if you have it. Of course, I'll be right back. Uh, I can't believe I burned the chicken. I worked so hard on it, too. I guess I'll just have to order takeout tonight. Well, at least I know that won't happen again. I need to get better at keeping an eye on the stove. I think I see some suppressa in the field. Maybe if I can find a way to get it, I can make a tasty meal out of it. Let's see, I could get a net or climb up and pick it myself. I'm sure I could figure out a way to get it if I put my mind to it. It might take a bit of time, but the reward will be worth it. Let's do it. Onwards. Time to get to work. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just making steamed chicken. There's nothing to worry about. It's just the steam from the cooking. Don't lie to me! I can smell an open flame. Put out the fire now. Oh, okay, okay, I'll take care of it. Skinner, why is this not chicken? What happened to the chicken? Ah, uh, well, you see, the chicken was taken away by a large group of, um, migratory poultry farmers who happened to be passing through the area on their way to the local poultry show. They saw the chicken and upon realizing how majestic it was, offered to take it with them. That's preposterous. I don't believe a word of it. Well, if you don't believe me, then I suppose we'll have to find another explanation. Perhaps the chicken was spirited away by a flock of raptors, or perhaps it got caught in a vortex and taken to a faraway land. I admit, it does sound a bit implausible, but stranger things have... Skinner, I want the truth! Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We have to get out of here before we get hurt. No, it's not fire. It must be a haunting. I'm not sure, but I think I hear the faint sound of a dulcimer playing somewhere in the distance. That's ridiculous. I need to see the kitchen to assess the situation. Let me go look. No, it's too dangerous. I think it's best if we just leave until we can get help. We can't just leave without knowing what's going on. Please let me go check. Well, Skinner, it was nice having lunch with you, but I think I should be going. I can't help noticing your house is on fire. Are you okay? Eh, uh, fire. What fire? What fire? There's no fire here. Must be some kind of trick of the light. Let's just ignore it and have a nice lunch. Okay. If you're sure. Well, then I guess I'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too.
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Won't you please come in? The spice cookies are in the oven, but they're not quite ready yet. <sighs> ah, it smells wonderful in here. I'm quite looking forward to tasting your experimental cookies. What spices did you use in them? A little of this and a little of that. I used a bit of ginger, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg to give them some flavor. I hope you like them. Sounds delicious. I'm sure they'll be a hit. I look forward to sampling them. Well, they won't be ready for another few minutes. Would you like something to drink while you wait? Damn it. I completely forgot about the spice cookie. It was supposed to be the highlight of this meal, and now it's burnt to a crisp. Oh, well, there's no sense in dwelling on it now. I'll just have to make something else. Maybe I can whip up a quick batch of oatmeal cookies to make up for it. They'll probably turn out much better than this one did. I, I think I see quahogs out there. I'm not sure, but I'm going to give it a try. I'll need to find a way to get them into the kitchen so I can replace the burnt spice cookie. Aha! I will use a stick and a bucket to collect the quahaws and bring them back to the kitchen. I can do this. Let's go get those quahaws. Success. Now let's see if this will work as a substitute for the burnt spice cookie. That should do it. What is going on here, and why is there smoke coming from the kitchen? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just some steam from the stove. Nothing to worry about. Don't give me that. Is the kitchen on fire? Tell me the truth. No, it's not on fire. Really, just steam from the stove. I can assure you, it's nothing to be concerned about. Skinner, what's going on here? Where's the spice cookie that I requested? Oh, that. Well, I'm afraid I made a mistake, Principal Chalmers. You see, I realized that in order to truly appreciate the nuance of the flavor, Quaha was the way to go. It's a very rare prized delicacy that I happen to have on hand. I'm sure... That's a pretty fair-fetched explanation, Skinner. Don't you think you should just come clean and tell me the truth? No, no, no. I'm quite certain that this Quahog is the right choice. It will really open up your palate to something new and delicious. Plus, it's healthier than the spice cookie. Skinner, I don't believe that this is the truth. I think you should tell me what really happened. Skinner, we cannot deny that the kitchen is on fire. We need to take action now and get everyone out of the building. No, no, don't be silly. It's just a natural phenomena. It's probably just the tides like they do in the ocean. Skinner, uh, there is no ocean here and this is clearly a fire. We need to evacuate the building now. No, it's not a fire. It's just the tides. Don't worry about it. Skinner, you are endangering everyone by denying the truth. We need to get everyone out of the building now. Oh my goodness! Is that smoke I smell? Do you smell it too, Principal Skinner? We better get out of here before the fire spreads. Tides? What do you mean? No, I don't smell anything. Let's finish lunch. There's no fire here. But Principal Skinner, look at the smoke. We need to get out of here immediately. No concern. Everyone will stay put until I determine the cause behind this unexpected occurrence. Do not panic, for it could be the wind or a faulty appliance. But, Principal Skinner, the fire alarm is going off. We have to leave right now. Welcome, Professor Chalmers. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. I'm so glad you could join us today. Thank you so much for inviting me. It smells wonderful in here. What are you cooking? It's just a little something I'm making for dinner. An Australian cashew nut dish. It'll be ready soon enough. Just have a seat and make yourself at home. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. That's very kind of you, but don't worry, I've got it all under control. In the meantime, would you like something to drink? I can't believe I burned the Australian cashew nut. 
It's one of the most delicious nuts I've ever had. I'm so frustrated. Now I have to start from scratch with something else. I, I'm going to try making some Japanese walnuts instead. Those are delicious too. Maybe this time I won't burn them. I think I can use paper marbling to replace the burnt Australian cashew nut. It might be a bit tricky, but I think I can do it. I just have to figure out the best way to do it. Maybe I can use some of the tools from the craft store down the street. Um, I could try to create a pattern by mixing acrylic paint and water. Then I could use a special brush to carefully lay the liquid onto the marbling paper. If I'm careful, I should be able to get a nice marbling effect. Okay, now I just need to let the paper dry and then I can start to transfer the pattern onto the nut. Let's see what I can make. Well, uh, that was a lot of work, but I think it looks pretty great. Skinner, what's going on here? Why is the kitchen filled with smoke? Oh, it's nothing to worry about. I'm just steaming some Australian cashew nut. I don't believe you. I think the kitchen is on fire. Are you hiding something from me? No, no. I promise you there's no fire. It's just the steam from the cashew nuts. I swear. Skinner? Why did you bring back paper marbling instead of Australian cashew nuts? I'm sure the store meant to give me paper marbling. It can often substitute for cashew nuts in a variety of recipes. Plus, it's cheaper and easier to find in my area. That's not what I asked. What were you thinking? I wanted to surprise you with something different. I thought the paper marbling would be a nice change of pace. Plus, I heard it's a popular snack in Australia. That still doesn't explain why you didn't get the right item. What happened? What's going on in the kitchen? It smells like there's a fire. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. It's probably just a little bit of harpy. Let me see. No, I don't think that's necessary. It's just a little bit of harpy, I'm sure. I insist. Let me see what's happening in the kitchen. Wait, there is a fire. No, no, no. That's just the harpy I'm keeping in the kitchen. Skinner, you need to get out now. The house is burning down. No, no, no. You see, harpies don't cause house fires. You must be mistaken. Skinner, this is serious now. You need to get out of the house before it's too late. 